I'll get to that here in a second. But, you know, back to Aaron here, I'm, I'm kind of open loopy, if you know what I mean. I just jump from story to story to story to story. But I remember when I got started, um, I had been clean for a couple of years, and I knew that I had a bigger purpose, similar to what um, you know, some of the speakers shared with you tonight, and I knew I had, a, I had a bigger purpose. I didn't know how I was going to get out there and make an impact, and, and I can relate to what Laura said a lot, because I remember a time in my life when I didn't think that I had anything useful to say. I did. I can remember a time when I did not think that anything coming out of my mouth was going to uh, make an impact on anybody, right? And now we have people from uh, halfway around the world, right? Greg, good to see you, brother. How you doing, man? Cool. I just like, you know, kind of seeing people, and I, it's like a family reunion, honestly, when we come here, yeah. you know? It's like, you know, hey, here's the one thing that I learned, is that you can't pick your family, but you damn sure can pick your friends, right? And, you know, I don't know about you, but I got some crazy ass family at home, you know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe one of you in here, and I did mean one, has like the perfect family, right? But I mean, the majority of us just have, you know, like crazy on, or she's going, oh, God, what does that tell you? Right? But, you know, the truth of the matter is that not only can you pick your friends, but you can also pick who you decide to work with. And I was just talking to Nicole Cooper's uh, husband.